Welcome back to another episode with Explore by Adventure. We're doing another part of a tinny build. Um, last time we did the trailer, now what we're going to be doing is uh, wheel bearings. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can do wheel bearings at home in your driveway. I'm pretty lucky I've got a workshop, but I'm just going to do it as if I was at home. So let's get into it. Alright, to do these wheel bearings today, you need, of course, your wheel bearings to find out what sort of wheel bearings you need. There is a number on the wheel bearing, whether it's Holden or uh, board. You also need some high temperature grease uh, and with your wheel bearings make sure they're marine grade if you're doing them on a boat trailer otherwise you just get normal wheel bearings on a normal trailer. You also need some sockets. Um, I'm using a rattle gun which you don't need to um, as well as a hammer, shifter and new split pins as well as a pair of pliers. You also need a punch as well. It'll make things a little bit easier. I've also got a grease gun to uh, help out as well. You also need a jack to jack your trailer up and it is recommended to use a jack stand as well just so if anything happens it's not going to slip off the jack. So you just want to rest the trailer onto the jack stand. Push that out of the way. Right oh, now I just gotta get that cover off. New ones are them, but taking the split pin out. Make sure you have plenty of rags because it's a messy job. One wheel bearing. Righto, so anyways, you can't, I don't think you can really see, but around here we'll have the numbers to the, um, what type of wheel bearings you need. So if you just get, get one of the wheel bearings out, look at the numbers and they'll be able to sort something out. So first of all, we're going to put the new bearing seats in. We'll just sit that up there, make sure that goes in flat, grab the hammer, and you just... Keep tapping it in, and then you will hear with each when your taps change, it becomes more of a thumb. Thud, sorry, like that. And you know they're on the. Just check, anyways. You know it's on the um, bearing seats in there. Then the bearing just sits in there once that's packed. Now I'll just do the other side. Grab the bearing, a bit of grease in, in your hand. Grab the bearing, you go for the bigger side, and you just scrape a bit. Keep doing that. And 
until you see the grease at the top. I usually tighten it, which is really tight, and then I back it off about, to, about half a quarter of a turn. You just want it up nipped up. You split pin. That's it. 